Do you know how to write the equation of a line that passes through two given points? Let's take a look. Now before we can work with these ordered pairs, you must remember that to write the equation of a line, you need the slope and the y-intercept. Take a minute to make a note of that. Now let's begin by finding the slope of the line. Here's our set of ordered pairs. To find the slope of a line using ordered pairs, we can use the following formula. This first set of ordered pairs we can call the x1, y1 value, and this second set can be the x2, y2 values. Now let's substitute the given values into the formula and solve for the slope. The slope of this line is a positive 2. Now we can take the form of the equation y equals mx plus b and substitute in the values as we figure them out. So y equals 2x plus b when 2 is the slope of this line. Now we have to solve for b, the y-intercept. To do this, we can choose either of the ordered pairs. Now we can substitute the coordinates of this ordered pair back into the equation for x and y, and then we'll be able to solve for the y-intercept. Now you can see that we've substituted negative 3 in for x and 0 in for y. Now let's solve this equation for b. Our y-intercept is a positive 6. Now let's go back to our equation in slope-intercept form and substitute in all the values that we know. y equals 2x plus 6. Here's the equation for our line. Let's look at another one. What's the equation of the line that passes through the two points 1, negative 4 and 0, negative 2? Let's start by finding the slope. Here's our formula. Let's substitute the given values in for x and y. Here we have a negative 2, take away a negative 4, over 0, take away 1. Our slope is negative 2 over 1. Or you could simply say negative 2. Let's substitute that into a formula, into an equation in y equals mx plus b form. Here's the form of the equation in slope-intercept form. Now let's substitute in negative 2 for the slope. Next, we have to solve for the y-intercept using one of our ordered pairs. Let's use 1, negative 4 and substitute those values back into this equation for x and y. Next, we multiply negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2, plus b. We add 2 to both sides so that we can get b alone. We've got negative 2 is equal to b. This is our y-intercept. Now let's substitute this value back into our equation. y equals negative 2x minus 2. This is the equation for our line.